Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and happy Saturday. My voice is a little weird. I feel like I'm kind of losing my voice um, yesterday and today for no good reason, but I am at the grocery store. It is so cold, like so cold here that I just stopped and got gas in my car and literally my hands were freezing when I got back into my car. Not okay. <clears throat> it is so, so so cold. I am at the grocery store. I'm going to pick up my groceries for the week. I have um, Fred Meyer or Kroger and Walmart. And then I am also going to stop at the post office because I think that I may have some happy mail. So if so, I will show that to you guys as well. But I am heading in to stock up for the week on snacks, dinner items, so that I can do a complete meal prep for you guys. So if you want to see all the good stuff that I picked up, stay tuned. 16 degrees and I think that that is generous because it feels a lot colder than that out Hey guys, I am in the car. I wanted to let you know that I just stopped at the post office Look what came Happy mail. So this is so cute. Look at the little hearts On the packaging and look at how adorable this is so excited. Thank you so much to Yvonne. Yvonne is who sent me this happy mail. I haven't even opened it yet, so I was going to do that with you guys on camera. But look, you guys, how cute. Um, avocado paper, cutest thing pretty much ever. So let's get this opened up so that I can show you what Yvonne sent me. So she sent me this super adorable Valentine's Day card. I'm not going to read what she wrote on the inside, but it was so sweet. Thank you so much, Yvonne. I absolutely love all of my subscribers. You did not have to send me anything other than this card would have been wonderful. But thank you so much for the card. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up my beautiful avocado papered gift next. So first off, there were these super cute little rose petals in the package. Love that. And there was some cute little crinkly paper in the envelope. You're so sweet, Yvonne. And look at what she sent me, you guys. She sent me these super cute Valentine's Day towels. There's two in the pack. These are so cute, Yvonne. Thank you so much. I was actually just telling my husband that I have these crappy Dollar Tree Valentine's Day towels. So really excited about these. I am going to put them up as soon as I get home and I'm sure you'll see them in my upcoming cook with me videos. Thank you so much, Yvonne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And happy Valentine's day to you as well. Here's the first part of my grocery haul. These are the items that I picked up at Walmart grocery pickup. Sorry if you can hear my husband in the background. He has our leaf blower going spraying off or blowing off our front porch of the snow. I don't know, don't ask. Anyways, this is what I picked up from Walmart. Uh, so I went ahead and grabbed a half gallon of low fat buttermilk. The price on this was superb at Walmart. And this is to make the Skinny Kitchen Ranch, which is, as you know, my all time new favorite dressing. I also grabbed a pack of Foster Farms no antibiotic, 99% fat-free turkey. This was $2 less a pound than the Jenny O, and it is also 99% fat-free. So I grabbed a pound of that. While I'm at Walmart, I always, always get another extra pack of the chicken apple sausage. This sausage is so good and so low point. So I always grab a pack as part of my pickup and I just throw it into my fridge freezer, I should say. I also grabbed a four pack of the Hidden Valley Ranch, the buttermilk recipe. Again, I'm going to make some more skinny kitchen ranch dressing. So I went ahead and got a four pack. Again, this is about $2 less than my regular grocery store. So I added that to my cart. Also, I grabbed the original G Hughes barbecue sauce. They do not carry this at Fred Meyer. So I had to grab it at Walmart. I'm just about out. So I'll throw this in the pantry as a backup. And anytime that I do Walmart grocery pickup, I always grab a can of the Hershey's whipped topping. I love, love, love this. So I picked up another can of that. My other favorite thing in the world at Walmart is their uncured turkey bacon. You can see here that I went ahead and picked up three packages. Again, I throw it in the freezer. I don't go to Walmart very often, so I pick up my Walmart staples whenever I do. So three packs of the uncured turkey bacon. 
I also picked up a jar of Best Foods Light Mayo. I understand that this is the best brand to use uh, in the Skinny Kitchen Ranch. So I grabbed it specifically for that purpose. And lastly, I just grabbed another little container of minced onion. I use minced onion all the time. So that is the Walmart portion of my grocery haul. So here are the groceries that I picked up from Fred Meyer or Kroger. And then at the end, I will show you what my meal plan is for the week. So let's get started on these groceries. First, I picked up two dozen of the Simple Truth Organic Eggs. These were on a really good price of $1.99 a dozen. So that's a little over a dollar off a dozen. So I picked up two because I eat eggs all the time. I also grabbed a four pack of the Vanilla Light and Fit Greek Yogurt. This was a steal. This four pack is only $1. So if you have a Kroger or a Fred Meyer nearby, I would highly recommend this yogurt. It is such a good deal. That's 25 cents per cup. And I'm going to use this as snacking and then as well to make parfaits and things throughout the week. I also picked up a loaf of French bread. I am going to do a French toast bake um, for my breakfast. I'm so excited. I'll be sharing this with you guys in meal prep. I also picked up some pastrami from the deli. This is for my husband. And then I thought that I would have this available as well just to make like meat and cheese roll-ups or if I wanted to do sandwiches for a snack or dinner or even some weekend lunches, I would have some pastrami available. I also grabbed this yogurt. This is new. This is the Dannon Light and Fit Too Good. It only has two grams of sugar. It is also only two smart points. And this Dannon Light and Fit yogurt here has seven. So this only has two and this has seven, although the points value is the same. This is a little bit more expensive. I wanna say $1.50 each, but I had a coupon for it. So I thought I'd try it and compare it to the traditional Light and Fit. I also got a lot of frozen vegetables. I'm running pretty low and Private Selection is my favorite brand and these were on sale for $1.99 a bag. So I got some green beans and this is my all time very favorite broccoli. So I picked up two bags of frozen broccoli. I also grabbed some extra thin corn tortillas. This is for a recipe coming up this week. Very excited about actually. So I grabbed those for that. Parmesan cheese, this is the most economical way to purchase Parmesan cheese is by the little bag here. I want to say it was on sale for $1.88, so I grabbed a bag of the cheese. And then I also have a box of the Pillsbury Sugar-Free Muffin Mix. I am going to do a dessert or treat item out of this mix in my meal prep. This mix is so good, and I'm going to show you a really good recipe with that. I also grabbed a can of... 98% fat free cream of chicken. This is for a recipe this week. I'm going to be making a bubble up. I also got a pack of Hebrew National Beef Franks. I'm going to make two ingredient dough wrapped hot dogs in my air fryer. So excited for that. I'll definitely film that and share that with you guys, but I grabbed some beef franks for that. I picked up a bottle of kombucha. For some reason, it sounded really, really good. So I'm gonna have that as I am doing meal prep and running around. And then the rest is produce. I grabbed a tomato because I'm going to be making bagel BLTs for lunches this week in my meal prep. I'm also going to be adding some turkey to those. So I picked up a tomato for that. Some green leaf lettuce, which is also for those bagel BLTs. Really excited to have that as part of my lunches for the week. I picked up some Organic Girl Baby Spring Mix just to have on hand for salads. I'm really trying to eat salads more often and I'm out of mix, so I picked up another container. And then for fruits for the week, I have blueberries, which I'm really excited about. And then of course, some grapes that I will de-stem and wash for the week. So this is everything that I picked up from Fred Meyer for the week. And then next, I'm just gonna show you what I have on the plan for meals for the week. So here is my meal plan for the week. This is my meal planner. I got this off of Amazon. I wanna say it was about $7. It was really, really inexpensive. So here is what I have planned for the week. So for breakfast, you're gonna see in my meal prep, I'm going to be making a French toast bake. I'm gonna have that with eggs and some fruit. And then for lunches this week, I'm going to be having the bagel BLT with turkey, Brussels sprouts, fruit, and then I'm gonna be having a detour bar. I'll show you those, they're a new find that I just purchased. 
And then for dinners, I always start over here with Saturday since it's Saturday. And so for tonight for dinner, we're going to be having General Tso's chicken over rice. We'll have two ingredient dough bagel dogs tomorrow with salad. Monday, I have chicken pot pie bubble up. Tuesday, we'll do taco Tuesday. Wednesday, we'll have leftovers. We always have quite a bit of leftovers, so we take one day a week where we eat those up. Thursday will be spaghetti with salad. Friday, I'm gonna do shake and bake chicken in the air fryer with french fries and a side of broccoli. And then for snacks this week, I am planning, of course, on my Built Bars, yogurt, vegetables with the Skinny Kitchen Ranch. I'll be making another batch of that in meal prep. And then I'm gonna make those apple cinnamon muffins that you'll also see in meal prep. So this is what I have planned for my meals throughout this next week. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Grocery Haul. I'm excited to share my meal prep as well as some of, some of my dinners with all of you. Some really good ideas to stay on track. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Give my video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what's on your meal plan for the week and if I showed you any new food finds that you can have throughout this next week. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.